Chicago Sky rookie Angel Reese has made a conscious decision to disclose aspects of her personal life to her fanbase and the rest of the women's basketball community. This stems from her doing the Unapologetically Angel podcast, which has caused her to open up about her life off the basketball court that listeners likely would not have been privy to if she wasn't speaking about them in front of a microphone. There have already been several examples of this, like when she spoke about dating short kings in last week's episode, and that she prefers dating men who are in the NBA during an episode back in September. The most recent Unapologetically Angel episode was released on Thursday, with the special guest being comedian Funny Marco. Reese and Funny Marco discussed Reese's dating life during the most recent episode. But Reese doesn't appear to have liked the feedback from them doing so, according to two ex-posts the 22-year-old made on Friday. Now I see why people hide relationships and keep everything private like I don't think I'll ever openly share that part of my life with y'all again until a married cause y'all do the most. Reese wrote. She then followed that sentiment up with, it will literally have to be all assumptions and speculations cause absolutely not. Fans seem confused about what exactly she's alluding to, and it's unclear whether it did stem from something in the episode. But whatever it is, it appears that Reese will be more guarded about discussing this aspect of her life off the court in the future. Due to the immense fame Angel Reese has gained over the past two years, from winning the national championship with LSU in 2023 to being drafted seventh overall by the Chicago Sky in this year's WNBA draft, the most watched in history, she is now frequently invited to celebrity events, charity galas, and social events where she needs to dress in designer clothes. She discussed this topic on the latest episode of her podcast Unapologetically, which was hosted by fashion stylist Law Roach. In the episode, Reese told Roach that it's a big problem for her to wear clothes that aren't custom made for her, a famous people problem, as she calls it. She explained, like if I don't get it made, like stretchy is the best thing for me because I have a butt, I have a butt and my legs are long. While there are clothes available for people with her body type, she admitted that it can be a challenge for high-profile events where tight-fitting clothes are expected. But as she said, that's part of the deal. The good news is that she shared this concern with Roach, and as a stylist, he likely took note and will prepare a dress just the way Reese likes it for her next big event. With Reese's growing fame, it's clear that we'll be seeing more of her at these types of events. Besides the fact that she loves to cause controversy and be in the spotlight, that's his personality since her college days. Reese also continues to grow her social media following, with 4.5 million followers on Instagram and 4.8 million on TikTok, in addition to her videos surpassing 100 million likes. Her podcast, which releases a new episode every Thursday, has also gained a following in its first few months, especially with rotating celebrity guests like Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade, Kayla Nicole, Travis Kelsey's ex and Polo G. More celebrities are likely to join as Reese's fame and success continue to Reese's already training for next season, when she will have a new coach as the Chicago Sky recently signed Tyler Marsh to a multi-year coaching contract. Marsh spent the last three seasons as an assistant coach in Las Vegas, leading the Aces player development efforts as the team won back-to-back -back titles in 2022-23. With Marsh having worked with three-time WNBA MVP Ja Wilson for several years, Reese's game and training, with an emphasis on continuing to perfect her skills, could be similar to Asia's style, especially due to their similar size and physical attributes. Reese knows this and will take full advantage of everything Marsh has learned from and taught to Wilson. The future looks bright for Reese and Camilla Cardozo, who will be key players in the team's offense next year. All she really needs to do is bump up her shooting percentage by like 3, 4, 5 points, which is totally doable, and all of a sudden we're looking at a kid instead of averaging like 13 and 13, it's like 18 and 13. WNBA legend Sue Bird had a piece of advice for Angel Reese for improving from her rookie season. And with the arrival of a new coach in Tyler Marsh, it seems the message is similar not only to the rookie forward but rookie center as well. They both have the ability to be multidimensional. We want them to be effective in different phases of the game whilst also still highlighting the strengths of what they do. Marsh spoke to the Chicago Tribune about how Angel Reese and Camilla Cardozo could become better. 
Despite their all-rookie honors, their strength wasn't shooting. Chi-Town Barbie broke Candace Parker's WNBA record with 15 consecutive double-doubles to averaging the highest rebounds per game, 13.1, in a single season. On the other hand, her Brazilian teammate rookie averaged 9.8 points with 7.9 rebounds per game after suffering a shoulder injury early on in the season. So, Marsh wants to deploy his skyscrapers, Angel Reese and Camila Cardozo, as active facilitators in the paint, which will help to capitalize on the 6'7 Cardozo's high level of mobility despite her height. Previously, Marsh was the assistant coach and head of player development with the Las Vegas Aces and was responsible for taking the team to two back-to-back -back championships. Plus, the Aces for the past three seasons made it to the playoffs. So, after firing three coaches in as many seasons, the winds might change in the Windy City after his arrival. Last year, the Chicago Sky struggled massively for scoring as they were the second-worst team in field goal percentage at 42.2%. Another stats that the fans might not like was that they shot just 30.2% from beyond the arc, which was the fourth-worst in the league. So, it comes as no surprise that Coach Marsh wants to bring in the change. Some surprising stat for the Chi-Town Barbie was that her FG percent was just 39.9% and her three pints shooting was 18.8%. And there were games when the FG percentage did not cross even 25%. That's when the layup controversy started, as she was falling behind on points but continued her rebounding skill. That said, if we look at her collegiate stats, in four-year period her shooting beyond the arc never crossed 20%. However, the drop in FG percent is drastic. For Chicago Sky Center Angel Reese, it is a bit of a double-edged sword. She has built an enormous following on social media through her often forthright and open posts. At the same time, she has developed an aversion to fans who, perhaps, follow her a bit too ardently or seek to troll her when they can. Recently, Reese has been in Florida working out with renowned trainer Erin Rainey. She posted video of her workouts with Rainey at the Rollins College Gym in Orlando, and Rainey did the same on his Instagram account. Reese was also spotted, with Rainey, at an Orlando Magic, which was her second appearance at a Magic game this year, according to reporter Mason Williams. That sparked speculation about a potential relationship, perhaps with an Orlando player when, in fact, she was just going to a game after a workout. Angel Reese's departure from LSU has left the Tigers with a gaping leadership void, but women's basketball assistant coach Simone Augustus is confident that young players on Kim Mulkey's squad will step up to the task. In the absence of Reese, who was selected seventh overall by the Chicago Sky in the 2024 WNBA draft, number seven seeded LSU boasts a perfect 3-0 record with wins over Eastern Kentucky, Northwestern State, and Charleston Southern. Despite the promising start, Augustus conceded that the Tigers are still struggling to replace the star forward. Angel was the leader, she said while appearing on the In Case You Missed It podcast with Christina Williams. Angel was like a leader on and off the court, points, rebounds, everything. So now we get to see a new set of leaders, a new set of followers, a new set of competitors. Like, who's going to step up to this challenge and fill that role? The task at hand is easier said than done given Reese's immense impact in Baton Rouge. After spending her first two seasons at the collegiate level with Maryland, she immediately made her impact felt at LSU upon transferring there her junior year, propelling the Tigers to an NCAA championship in 2023, the first in the history of the program. The following season, Reese led the SEC in scoring and rebounding for the second year in a row on route to being named the 2024 SEC Player of the Year. In a rematch of the national championship game from 2023, LSU would fall to Caitlin Clark in Iowa, 94-87, in the Elite Eight round of the NCAA tournament. According to Augustus, however, Reese's play on the court wasn't the only thing that set her apart from the rest. It didn't take her a year to lead the team in scoring and help them to the national title. As a leader, Reese also took accountability for the results, she understood her role and acted upon it, she revealed. While Augustus conceded that it'd be near impossible to find another all-around player quite like Reese, she's encouraged the next wave of talent to assume larger roles that are now open. But who are you now that Angel has been removed? What is your identity? She asked. 
Over the last few weeks, we were starting to see they starting to learn how tough it is to lead and also how tough it is to follow, and also bring your best every day and make sure that your teammates are emotionally okay, and make sure the coaches are all right. It's like a process, but it's a beautiful mix of chaos that has a number of opportunities for them all to grow. Mulkey, meanwhile, believes it's only a matter of time before Reese's shoes are filled by a big personality. I don't think there was ever any pressure even when Angel was here, she said when asked if there was a greater pressure on LSU without Reese. She had a different personality, and I told you many times I coach some big personalities, and somebody in this bunch will have the big personality. Kateri Poole has made her thoughts known on former Tigers teammate Angel Reese following her surprise ousting from LSU. Taking to social media last weekend, Reese shared an inside look into her work behind the scenes while continuing to perfect her craft in the gym. The Chicago Sky star posted several photos to Instagram in which she donned a shirt from her collaboration with Reebok. This is hardly the first time that Reese and Poole have shown love for one another online. Earlier this month, the WNBA phenom sent the latter well wishes on her birthday. Reese and Poole joined forces at LSU during their junior years after spending their first two seasons at the collegiate level in Maryland and Ohio State, respectively. The star tandem immediately made their impact felt in Baton Rouge, propelling the Tigers to an NCAA championship in 2023, the first in the history of the program, after coming off the bench for much of the 2022-23 campaign. Poole played a pivotal role down the stretch, starting in the Tigers' final five games of the NCAA tournament. In LSU's 103-85 win over Caitlin Clark in Iowa in the national championship game, she hit two shots from behind the arc, including a game-sealing three-pointer. On the heels of a strong end to the season, Poole failed to make a similar impact the following year, appearing in just four games for the Tigers. The guard eventually transferred to Houston in April, with LSU head coach Kim Mulkey simply stating of her departure, she's no longer with us. Back in September, Poole provided more details regarding her abrupt departure from LSU. Truthfully, Mulkey said that I sent in a scouting report to another school, she said while appearing on an Instagram Live. I ain't do that, I was like, what do we do now? She said, you're kicked off. I said, boom, ite. She said, no longer on the team. I took it, asked if I could still play. She said, yeah. Scholarship, boom, was allowed to transfer. Now, I'm at Houston. Please stop asking me about that. Unfortunately for Poole, her revenge tour with the Cougars came to an abrupt end after suffering a season-ending leg injury in the lead-up to the 2024-25 campaign. Addressing the news, Houston head coach Ronald Huey said in an official statement, We are devastated for Kateri. It's a huge loss because Kateri has worked so hard, and we were looking forward to having Kateri on the court this season. We will be there to support Kateri every step of the way during the recovery process, he said. We know Kateri will be back stronger than ever next season. New Chicago Sky head coach Tyler Marsh has set Starlet Angel Reese a new objective for next year, as he challenged her to put the work in behind the scenes to improve her efficiency on the floor. The former college basketball hero enjoyed a record-breaking mating campaign in the WNBA after being selected as the number 7 overall pick in the 2024 draft. Having ended the regular season with an average of 13.6 points, 13.1 rebounds, and 1.3 steals per game, she was among the contenders for the Rookie of the Year prize. Her tally of 446 rebounds across her first professional term meant she was second only to superstar Asia Wilson in the overall league stakes. However, incoming coach Marsh is certain that the 22-year-old has areas where she can improve her game, in spite of calling her a cornerstone of the team upon his arrival. Setting out his stall, the newly appointed helmsman called on Reese and teammate Camilla Cardozo to spend time in the film room next season to help improve their performances. He contended, it's not just player development. It's time in the film room. We want Camilla and Angel to be good at what they do already but we also want them to score easily. Cardozo also impressed during her first year in Illinois, ending her campaign having averaged 9.8 points, 7.9 rebounds and 1.4 blocks per game. That earned her a place in the WNBA All-Rookie Team, despite the Sky eventually missing out on a playoff place, as coach Teresa Weatherspoon paid the price for this showing with her job.
Following on from her dismissal, Chicago Sky co-owner and operating chairman Jeff Palioka has spoken enthusiastically after installing Marsh as her successor. She said, We promised our fans that we would be very intentional with our next coaching hire, with the goal of being a playoff and championship contender every year. Coach Marsh brings a wealth of successful coaching experience and accountable leadership to our young team, and we look forward to a new era of Chicago Sky basketball with Coach Marsh at the helm. Meanwhile, Sky General Manager Jeff Palioka said, Tyler's relentless work ethic, deep understanding of the game, and his ability to connect with players on a personal level set him apart. His commitment to developing each player's unique strengths, along with his basketball acumen and calm, composed leadership style, make him an outstanding fit for our team. Tyler is known for his integrity, humility, and focus on building a culture rooted in trust and accountability. We are confident that he will lead the sky to new heights and inspire our players and fans alike. Likewise, March said, I'm so grateful to be the next head coach of the Chicago Sky. Thank you to Jeff Palioka, Michael Alter and all of Sky Ownership for their belief in me to be the next leader of this franchise. I'm looking forward to building relationships with our players and throughout our entire organization as we work towards establishing a championship culture on and off the court. Thank you to Mark Davis, Nikki Fargus and Matt Delson for the opportunity to be part of one of the greatest sports organizations in the world. Thank you to Coach Hammond, our staff and all of the Aces players for allowing me to make history with you as we brought the city of Las Vegas back-to-back -back championships. I love you all and wouldn't be in this position without you. Chicago Sky star forward Angel Reese took to social media on Thursday to share some big business news with her fans. Back in August, the rookie revealed her partnership with Reese's, which included a few projects. Some included launching a collection of apparel and featuring Angel Reese on the front of Reese's Puff cereal box. Although the partnership itself had already been announced, the former LSU Tiger shared a new update about it on Thursday. WNBA star Angel Reese took to social media to heap praise on Haley Van Lith after she led TCU to victory. On Sunday, Van Lith dropped 18 points with 10 assists and 4 rebounds to help TCU clinch a 76-73 win over NC State. Her performance saw her surpass 2,000 points for her collegiate career, while she also posted her first career outing with double-digit assists. After establishing herself as one of the biggest stars in women's college basketball, Van Lith spent just one year with LSU alongside Reese having joined the Tigers from Louisville but the 23-year-old struggled to adapt to the playmaking role bestowed upon her. Reese and Van Lith played alongside each other for one season, helping LSU earn a 31-6 record in entering the NCAA tournament as the number 3 seed. However, Van Lith made the transfer decision to leave LSU to rediscover her best form. Following the win over NC State, Van Lith was seen in tears as coach Mark Campbell serenaded her with compliments regarding her playmaking ability. Her decision to join TCU seems to be a fine move, the 23-year-old has starred for the 4-0 Horn Frogs, and Reese was also watching. HVL, Haley Van Lit, Reese posted on social media. That's all I must say. However, Sunday was also the day the WNBA draft lottery took place and set the order. The Dallas Wings at number 1, the Los Angeles Sparks at number 2, the Chicago Sky at number 3, and Washington Mystics at number 4.